How's it going everybody? This is Golden Bolt and welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Last time we went through Azuril's nightmare and arrived here at the end where Cresselia is saying that she has the opportunity to make us disappear because we are the reason that the Earth and the planet of Pokemon will eventually fall into turmoil as neither us or Nigel are allowed to exist. Yeah, pretty, pretty big stuff to happen after the actual freaking main storyline, but anyway. The opportunity to make you disappear. I don't know about this, Cresselia. I don't know about this. What? Wait a second. We don't want to disappear. We don't. We want to know more about what's happening. So you'd rather see all Pokemon swallowed up by the nightmare? That's not. That isn't what I want. Cresselia, is this really true? If we disappear, will the world really be saved? Yes, it will be saved. For it is only your existence that is driving the world to ruin. You know, I never imagined Cresselia to be as blunt as she is in this game, just based on appearance or anything like that, but I don't know. I'm very sorry that I must do this. Prepare to disappear. It must be done. The world must be saved. Wah! Hey! Hello, Gobo and Nigel? Where are you? Gah. Interrupted, and my work here was nearly finished. I was interrupted this time, but I will see to it that you two disappear. Of course, if you wish to save the world on your own, you should consider making yourselves disappear first. Farewell. Excuse me, Cresselia, did you just ask Nigel and us to both kill ourselves? That is pretty dark for Pokemon. Wow, that, that was close. Hey, so here you are. Hey, what's up, Drowsy? Why are you here? Please don't molest us. You were taking so long to come back, I got worried. I decided to be brave and come and came looking for you. Uh, that's weird, but okay, there's something dangerous about this place. We shouldn't stay here. Let's go back to the guild for the time being. And prepare for many a cutscene. Yes, there is a lot of talking probably in this episode. Would you like to save on? Yeah, that's what recording is for. I see. So you encountered Cresselia, and she said that Azuril's fat nightmare is caused by the distortion in the fabric of space. Little different than time this time around, yes. Ha, time this time around, ha If nothing is done about it, all Pokemon will join Azuril in an unending sleep. That is what Cresselia said? Yes. Squawk! If that's all true, this is terrible trouble to be sure. Don't act like you care, chat's on. You, I know deep down you're trying to get rid of us. I know you want to see Gobo and Nigel leave. I mean, you're I, I, you, you, you suck. That's what I'm trying to say. I know of all of the Pokemon. But only from rumors. Aha, uh -huh, sure. Said Cresselia appears only during the night of the quarter moon. It also said that this Pokemon can heal others' emotional scars simply with the gentle, gentle light from her body. Well, she didn't seem very, yeah, she didn't seem so kindly, did she? There's one more thing about Cresselia. Pokemon said to possess a mystical power that can banish darkness. Power to banish darkness. Hey, hey, so let's get this straight. If we don't do something, all the Pokemon in the world are going to fall asleep forever? That sounds like, a, that sounds like dying. Hey, Nigel. Did Cresselia say anything about how the distortion of space can be stopped? Wh what? Or how to stop the distortion of space? Maybe we shouldn't bring it up because Drowsy will probably try and go on. Did I say something weird? No, you're just weird, Drowsy. It's not what you said. Sorry, I was thinking about something else. So, uh, a way of stopping the distortion of space. Yeah, it's a pretty sore subject. Nope, I don't remember Cresselia saying a single thing about that. You are a liar to the core! Well, anyway. Let's look into the dis distortion of space together. If we don't, we won't be able to stop the nightmare from spreading, idiots! Ha <laughs> ha, chat on. Yes, Guildmaster. I'd like a dang perfect apple. We'll disband for the day, and starting tomorrow, you are to individually investigate the distortion of space itself. Uh, what? How do you do that, chat on? That's so vague. What is it with these games and, like... Every word dismissed, go save the world! It's like, what is it? What do you what do you, what do you expect me to do? What do you want me to say, Eric? When we were back at the guild, Drowsy asked us if we knew how Yeah, I remember that! Two seconds ago, I lied, I didn't even think twice about it. As we know, there is a way to stop the distortion. The only solution is for us to disappear from this world. I just couldn't bring myself to say it. But is this something I really must tell everyone about? Maybe I could try, because I've been pretty dang silent the whole time. Hey, Gobo, what should we do now? If we were to disappear, would the world be saved? What do you mean? Uh, is, uh, do we just, like, disappear? Do we run away or do we die? Oh, Nigel. Uh, I can't take this. All this worrying has made me tired. Let's get some sleep, Gobo. I, I, if it were me, I would not be able to sleep. I would not be able to sleep at all. But it still seems night, so I don't think Gobo's able to sleep either. 
Yep, uh, can't sleep. Nigel is already asleep, I guess. But I have to wonder. I understand we're causing the distortion of space, but how that leads to the world's ruin, I still can't believe it. I thought it was just merely something from a dream that first time, but then with the second dream, when I was told about the distortion of space, that was when I started thinking that maybe it was true. Hey, come to think of it, the morning after I had that dream, Nigel said to me, Flashback city, I can't run. Why are you daydreaming? It's not like you, Gobo. Come on, let's see some energy. Yes, indeed. Nigel could be right. Hmm. But he did say he had the same dreams. I just woke from the same dream. Yeah, at the moment, Nigel must have been acting extra cheerful around me because Nigel suspected that I had just had the same dream. That is a stretch. I don't think I wouldn't even suspected that. Nigel had to have been frightened, but, Ni but Nigel was much more concerned about me than in his Earl's nightmare. What Cresselia said and what she tried to do. I felt crushed by that, but, 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 that's why I have to keep my spirits strong. My spirits strong. Spirits. Great, looks like Gobo fell asleep in his thoughts. But, uh, yeah, that didn't seem very kindly or, you know, nice of Cresselia to try and kill us, did it? Uh, something's not right here. And Nigel's gone. Huh? Uh-oh, Nigel isn't here. Yeah, now maybe outside? Yay, a time where we just get to be Gobo! It's kind of cool, actually, but yeah. Well, it was cool. It was cool. But I guess Nigel decided that looking out at the sea from, you know, our inside our house was not as good of a deal. So he had to go up on the rock. I couldn't sleep at all. Hey, Gobo, can't we be allowed to stay? Can't we stay in this world? When we fought Dialga at Temporal Tower, you fought even though you knew that you would disappear, Gobo, because even if you were to disappear, you thought that would save the world. That's why you did it, right? If that's the case, maybe we should do that this time too. Nigel. It's true, I fought Dialga knowing that I would disappear if we succeeded. But that had to be done to prevent the blast paralysis. There it is. Sign it. Put a check mark. Add another notch to your notch list because they said prevent the planet's paralysis again. After it's already over. Back then, I was willing to disappear if it meant saving the world. I feel the same. I feel the same this time too. But is this situation really the same? But something, something feels different this time around. Hmm. Oh, Gobo, what do you think? Should we really disappear from this world? I don't know. <laughs> Earth, you don't know. You must be thinking that maybe we ought to disappear. No. Something is weird. You think something's weird? What is? What's weird? Every th yeah, I'm on board with this idea. Aren't you guys? I mean, what would you say if you let me, let me know in the comments? No, I'm not gonna do that, but I would say everything Cresselia said doesn't seem very Cresselia-like. What exactly was odd about what Cresselia said? We separately found out that we were causing the space distortion while at Luminous Spring too. Well, I don't, I believe that maybe we are, but everything Cresselia is saying isn't exactly right. That is true, but something, something is different about disappearing this time around. I know something's different. What is it? I need to think carefully. That's it. Well, that was quick. That's right. This is different from before. It's about space. My disappearance wasn't really a choice. I got to explain that to Nigel. Here's how you do it. You hop around. And you can explain an entire thought paragraph. What's what's different? Hop. <laughs> Apparently. What? The temporal tower you were willing to disappear was well, not the same this time? Hop. <laughs> Gobo like talks through hops. Nigel talks through footprints. I don't know. These characters are strange. Do what you did at Temporal Tower because you had to. You changed your future because you knew that it would lead to world peace. But your choice wasn't really the choice to disappear. But there's no telling what will happen if we disappear, not this time. So we really don't know if that will bring peace to the world again. What you're saying is, nothing about this is certain? That's true. It's true that things aren't completely certain, but... It's a fact that you were a human who came from the future, Gobo. And I did go to the future and then come back to this world. That part doesn't make no lick of sense to me! doesn't work. We, there, there's no escaping the fact that we changed history. That must mean that what we were told is true. Nigel, what a freaking defeatist. Oh. It's sunlight. The sun's coming up. Quick, go to sleep before it's too late. Wow, the sun rises really, really fast in the Pokemon world. I was going to say, quick, go to sleep before you have to see it. Sunrise, the worst time of the day because you got to wake up from taking a nice... I like. I mean, I'm, a, I'm definitely a nighttime person. I'm not a morning guy. Oh, Gobo. In fact, I'm recording this incredibly late at night. Seeing the sun come... It's almost 2 a.m. <laughs> Seeing the sun come up this way makes me remember. I've seen the sunrise from here before. This isn't the first time. The first time, I was with Grovile. With Grovile? There's a name we haven't heard in a little while. I do miss him. Wonder how he's doing. 
Remember when we first came back from the future? We slept here. That's when I saw the sunrise from here for the first time. I remembered something about that first time. Something Grovile asked me. Flashback City! But all seemed lost. You refused to give up. Even I had given up. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? Is the friendship of Gobo! Yay! I guess that struck no That's why Grovile asked me when I, why I refused to give up, but I didn't know how to answer. I didn't know why I was brave then. Just because you're a brave little wood gecko, aren't you, Shriko? That's just it. Yes, the fl God dang flashbacks, mystery dungeon explores the flashback! Gobo? Yeah, everybody loves Gobo. New TV show on TBS. Everybody loves Gobo. I managed to be brave because you were always with me. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. That's great. That's what you told Grovile? Cool. This is before we lost Grovile in the Hidden Land? Yeah, mm hmm. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, it was good. He shoved him in there. I'm taking Dustmore back to the future. What a good movie, yes. Probably made that joke when it happened. <laughs> Uh, for the other time, watch Gobo's back, promise me. But take your place, Grova, I can't. You must, and you will. Yeah, mm-hmm, the greatest, yes. The greatest combinations, even more than a lock, or peanut butter, I was about to say peanut butter and jelly, I'm allergic to peanut butter. What am I thinking? Then mustard and a hot dog, how about that? I hate peanut butter, I'm allergic to it. Like, horribly, I'm terribly allergic to peanuts. If you're not giving up, Gobo, I won't give up either. But I gave up a long time ago. There must be something that we can still do about this. There has to be a way of fixing things, a way that doesn't involve having to disappear. That's right. That's the Nigel I know. That is a creepy freaking face. You have to keep going. Let's find a way out of this. All right. No anime pose there? That seemed like that warranted an anime pose. But, yeah, it's time for more cutscene. Oh, go ball. I was just thinking. It's time that being dis... It was time that was being destroyed before, right? Now the very fabric of space is becoming distorted. Sounds an awful lot like a legendary Pokemon. <laughs> Destruction of time and the distortion of space. Can't begin to conceive of such things. But these troubles of time and space, I have a feeling they're related. Probably time and space, a possible connection? Do you remember when time was breaking down? Lapras gave us a lot of insight into tem Temporal Tower. So about this distortion of space, do you think Lapras might know something about it? Lapras? Well, actually, it wouldn't be unusual if Lapras did know something about this. Thought you'd think so too, Go. Well, let's settle it. Let's go see Lapras. Should be at the beach. Let's hurry. Oh my god, guys. I am able to control us once again. That it's been about 13 minutes into the episode. I'm playing the game. Let's see if Kegleon has reviver seeds. Hey, he's got one! And he's also got one of these. So, oh, oh I guess I don't have space for it. But whatever. I, oh, I don't have space for anything. So let's sell some things. Shall we? Yes, I don't need a, a blast seed. Is not a thing that you need. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, let's get this and let's get this. And yes, that's a lot of money. But reviver seeds are great. They're good. Wonderfully lovely items. Let's go see Lapras at the beach, shall we? That sounds good. What is Spoink doing here by himself? Taking a turn for the Sinister. I hope something can be done for everyone. <laughs> I hope something happens before we all fall asleep and die forever. <laughs> like, yes, Spork, so do I, as do I, as does all of us. Anyway, hey, Lapras, excuse me, Lapras, there's something we'd like to ask you. We're investigating the distortions in the fabric of space. The distortion of space itself. Yes, and we'd like to learn anything you might know about it, Lapras. Hmm, C can you help us? Do you know anything? I'm sorry to say, I don't know anything about space distortions. You gotta contact the space Lapras. I do know of a being that embodies space itself. What, a being that embodies space itself? Yes, time and space are deeply connected. It's Star Wars. Just as, just as Dialga covers, governs time itself, so too there is a being that governs the fabric of space. Star Wars, that being who is it? Its name is Star Wars. This being is said to possess the ability to distort space itself, and Spatial Rift is said to be its domain. That's where Star Wars lives? The beginning that governs space? Star Wars? The whole, the whole movie lives in Spatial Rift. The whole series, all six movies. If we meet Star Wars, we might be able to learn more about space distortions. So uh, how do we get to Spatial Rift? Can you travel by the Lapras? It looks like you can go to the Hidden Land? I hate to disappoint, but I can't travel to Spatial Rift. I don't even know where it is. How do you know of it then? That's all I can tell you. All right, peace out. I gotta go swim. I'm sorry, Nigel. I'm sorry, I'm not much help. Yeah, Nigel. No, no, not at all. Learning about the existence of Star Wars is a big help for us. Look, Lapras is the one who brought Star Wars into the Pokemon world. Now we can watch all the movies together, Nigel. 
then we can invite Poog, and yeah, we'll have a big Star Wars movie marathon. I think that sounds good. So basically, so basically, Lapras didn't know about, much about the distortion of space. He did tell us that Star Wars controls space itself, and that this being dwells in spatial rift. Star Wars, huh? If we can meet with Star Wars, we'd be able to ask about the distortion of space. Star Wars. But we don't have a clue as to where spatial rift is. Hmm. I guess there isn't any point in worrying about it right now. Let's continue to investigate this tomorrow. There's no giving up now, Gobo. Yeah. Star Wars! Yes, another nighttime dream. Another dreamy dream. I dreamed a dream of Star Wars. I don't know why I'm calling Poggy a Star Wars, but I am! Oh, hello. Apparently my voice caused tremors, but not really. Because it's Star Wars! I have found you at last. It's the defilers who are causing the destruction. <laughs> Can I just point out that <laughs> he just showed up at my house and he's like, in the middle of the night, and he's like, hey, I found you. You guys are messing up my life. It's Star Wars. Who are you? I am Star Wars. I hold sway over space. It does. I mean, the movies do. I have dominion over dimension. Star Wars? You're Star Wars? You cannot escape now. This is the end of you. Well, on another cliffhanger, Gobo and Nigel are faced with... Faced with Star Wars in our house. I guess the movie marathon came a little early. I have no idea what I'm on about, but I hope you've enjoyed yourselves while you're here. Uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.